Mushroom hunters have fanned out across forest floors for hundreds of years, searching for what can be lucrative and delicious finds. But is climate change affecting these fungi? From the Cronkite School of Journalism at Arizona State University, Melanie Porter found weather change, at least, is not all bad news for these foragers. It's like I said, it looks like it's a shellac. Yeah. A delicacy found on the forest floor only a mushroom lover would treasure. These usually you need like a saw. The Arizona Mushroom Society has a mission to provide educational and scientific opportunities for members to learn about mushrooms in a hands-on environment. Just pew, blow the spores. The society hosts dozens of workshops throughout the year. It could turn out to be a four-hour, five-hour hike down the mountain. Members also have the opportunity to trek to areas across Arizona to look for precious fungi. It's the adult idea of a Easter egg hunt. Mushrooms can be used in teas, broths, and medicinal remedies. These are bioluminescent. But it takes a careful eye to determine which are poisonous and which are safe to eat. This group knows enough about mushroom species to understand not to eat them before they're properly identified. This one, I believe we are calling Brucella atroglauca. And these mushrooms also bring balance to the forest. The ecosystem, we need them. Mushrooms just like the bees need the flowers. You know, the mushrooms provide the mycelium and the mycelium of the mushrooms for the trees. Fabian Monhe is a foray leader for the Arizona Mushroom Society, and he's seen firsthand how mushrooms reflect a changing climate. Mushrooms are going to come and go with the season and how much rain we get. And we had a great winter. It could have been a very productive summer if it had continued, but you know, you can't have it both times. And while these mushroom hunters see climate change happening locally, research shows that globally, fungi could adapt to the changing climate. Beautiful. One study from Spain found that wild mushrooms thrive when there are changes in temperatures and moisture across a growing season. In fact, they found climate change had no negative long-term effect on mushrooms. It actually helped produce more mushrooms by increasing their fruiting and growing season. The underside of the gills are even brighter. The purple. Based on the weather in this part of Arizona, foragers said this season was decent, but not the best. Uh, some years are definitely spottier than others. It has not been the juiciest year. The study found that these forest gems do well in areas with more rain at the beginning of the season and warmer temperatures at the end, like some Arizona mountains. Every monsoon season's different in different areas, but those, that time is a very small frame with a very small window. Mushroom hunters are taking advantage of this window of opportunity by hitting the trails all around the state. Mmm, delicacy. They're hopeful that the mushroom crop will continue to be fruitful. We're just hoping, you know, that our season still is not over yet. When the temperatures start to drop, the mushrooms hide. But they're prepared to say goodbye to these delicacies until next season. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Melanie Porter with Cronkite News in Tucson, Arizona. Ta-da! Who knew a benefit from climate change? There you have it.